Well guys, this is an exciting day. We're going to pick up a new Razor. Trev's getting a personal car. We have arrived. Shout out to Coaches. About to pick up the new rig. Got a good look over there. There's lots of cars going out. Check out this mother. Saturday for us boys. Trev just picked up the new rig. We're gonna be doing a full build on it. So yeah, you guys are gonna wanna see this. Back to Gilbert. Well, we're over at Trev's house, working on the rig. Just pulled the cage off. Got a bunch of new parts going on. Some TW doors, we got some wires, we got some speakers, we got some light bars, we got some sub boxes. Trev, why don't you uh, tell us what you've already started doing over here? Got the uh, UTV stereo second battery kit. Um, basically, this is gonna start the car, only start the car. This is gonna run all your accessories. So when you have uh, bump sessions, Late at night, forget to turn your car off. Starts in the morning and you're good to go. No issues. All right guys, we're about to do a full stereo install from UTV Stereo on this 2021 Turbo S Dynamics. We started off by stripping down all the front plastics, took the fascia off, the fenders off that you can see over here. And then we're, first things first, Pull out the sub, and we're gonna be installing it into this SSV sub box uh, enclosure deal. So yeah, over here we got the UTV stereo speakers and the SSV kick pods that we're gonna be using. Um, we took off the old cage, and we're supposed to be getting in the new one hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Uh, he, these are the UTV stereo cage pods we're going to be throwing on it once we get it. And then you guys might have also want to follow along. We'll be installing all these lights on the cage and a bunch of good stuff. Before the sub gets put in, do a little bit of scone action to ensure watertight. Make sure you don't get any of that nasty fart noise also. <laughs> yeah, we uh, learned about that in my two seat 1000. We had to get, do a little extra scone job to reduce the fart. But yeah, after we get the sub put on, oops, I'm gonna kick it. Um, oh, and then I'm gonna reach right into the scone. Oh yeah, baby. These bolts that are on this side, one of the main reasons we pulled the plastics off, mount, or that mount goes right over here. I'm just gonna bolt it right in. As you can see, the sub was installed. And then the box, we just pushed it up in this little hole. Two screws there, four screws there. That's about as good as it gets, baby. Got the sub box all installed. We got the triple lamp mount up on top. We screwed it down into the frame, as you can see there. Kind of get a rough estimate of where the amp's gonna go. And down here, we put the little SSV kick pods in. Simple install, screw there, screw there. Use a stock existing screw on the bottom. Then for the speakers, we got the RGB wired in on this side. We got the black going to the positive and then the white going to the where the blue should be. And then over here, we got your regular power and ground. And it's a really clean look. Check it out, bang. We ran those wires up uh, through this tube right here, and they come out here. Loomed around here to where the amp is. Bang. Well, we got some exciting stuff going down right now. We just brought Trev's new cage home. I'm uh, riveting in the little clip pins right now. See, that one needs one. Trev's over here working on the roof. Got the nice, uh, I don't know what material you call that. Like a vinyl? Like, yeah, vinyl. Looks good though. 
It's also powder coated to match. Bang. But yeah, we're gonna try to get this all maybe thrown on the car tonight. Right now we're riveting this uh, roof clip in. We got the little clip, throwing it on the bottom. Rivet, comes up through the bottom. Right through the hole. Grab your rivet gun. Easy peasy. Easy as that. Things are pretty sweet. Goes in. Does a quarter turn and locks in place. Don't have a screwdriver right now. But... Bang. Get a demonstration in a little. Right now we are putting the foam around the edge of this roof. You can see we got the other three sides done. To eliminate all the rattling between the roof and the cage, it's gonna be a sweet fit. Roof going on now, baby. Check out that. Well, we're still over at Trev's. Right now, I'm uh, installing the Team W doors. Just did this first one. Got the latch. The nice little vinyl. Looks good. Now, starting out on the next one. Here we go, baby. Well, we've got most of our wiring all buttoned up over here. So we got a nice little ground jump post going. Got the horn. We got the little side shooter lights ready for lights. Amp installed. Cage is getting bolted on as we speak. We got the little door corners getting tightened on right now. Power tool for that. Got the harnesses installed. Simpson baby. Bang. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna tighten this cage down and go maybe drive this thing over to Ace Hardware. Get some more bolts that are needed. Bang. We're also prepping for the wrap job. Get all the stickers removed. Comes off too easy. Yep. Just gonna need a little goo gone to get the residue off. Clean. Gonna run some numbers, make sure everything's looking good. Well guys, we sent Trev's razor off to get wrapped at Wolf Designs, and here we go. Finished product. Oh man. Got the paddle tires on, about to hit up the dunes. Full stereo install. Check out these seats, man. They are sweet. Full custom, triple X. Got the gold stitching, the gold on the sides, the ostrich. Got the Switch Pro all installed. Stereo. Man, this has just turned out awesome. Car looks sweet. You guys are gonna wanna watch the next uh, video. Got the rigs loaded up. It's gonna be good.